as we come from the school. You can see how, how close the school is. But the school has about a 100 yard sidewalk out to the, 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 where our, our property joins. And from where our property joins the school, we have to pour a sidewalk that will come into this back door. And this will be an all new patio that greets the kids under this nice, nice overhang here. And uh, we, we picture the sidewalk right now as coming up between these two trees and it goes out there, believe it or not, about 140 yards out there. So the, the, uh, the chaperones will go over to the school building, meet the kids, and then walk them that about 200 yards over to the building and in this back door then uh, uh, right into the old sunrooms. Well, after the kids make their 200 yard walk over from the school, they'll come through this door in the old sunroom. They'll be accompanied by two chaperones and the chaperones take them all the way to the classroom. In this room itself, all the paneling comes off. This will be all new drywall. The windows will be enlarged to get as much light into this place as possible. We want it to be a happy, uh, kind of light-filled space. It'll also be uh, kind of a community space where people who take tours will come in here and have some coffee and cookies and things like that. But the kids will go up a ramp. Everything in the, in the house will be ADA compliant. So they'll come up a ramp to, this, uh, to be the, the level of the house. And this will be their entrance. Uh, actually, it'll be different than this. This whole door comes out and they'll come into the old family room. This will be uh, enlarged in here. And all of this, all these fixtures, the old fireplace, everything's gonna be donated to Restore. So if you like any of these things, go down to Restore and shop. Uh, this gets opened up. This whole wall comes out. This will become a kind of a teacher's prep area, but this whole wall comes out, believe it or not. This will be the entrance to the classroom that's gonna be built into the garage. Well, coming out of the garage, it shows how big this project really is because this garage is going to become one of the classrooms. As I mentioned when we were in the dining room inside the house, this whole wall comes out. This wall will not be there. It'll be the entrance into this classroom. This old beat up floor all comes out. We've got to come in and jack this all out of here. And then uh, through that garage door, the, the garage door comes out, that end wall comes out. We extend the garage 10 feet. Uh, again in here, all the paneling comes down. Uh, the ceiling comes down, all brand new drywall, all brand new lighting. Everything will be LED lights, uh, be really uh, conducive to, to studying. Then you come into the, the second classroom. This will be uh, the old living room. As you see, it's kind of a 1970s thing with the sunken living room. Uh, that has to be built up to this floor level here. I mean, it looks small right now, but the far wall comes out all the wall to the, uh, to the east, which is all the old bedrooms, all of those walls come down. The ceiling comes down. Believe it or not, all the, everything comes down. But because all the electric has to change and all the plumbing has to change, we need to open the walls up so the electricians and the plumbers can get into those walls. Uh, if anybody likes this railing, it'll be for sale up at Restore, along with the lights. I understand those may be coming back someday. As you come to the east end of the house, that's where the, all three bedrooms were. It's a three bedroom house, nice sized bedrooms, but all these walls come out and will all be part of the new classroom. So it'll be another classroom that holds about 25 students, a teacher and uh, all modern facilities as far as, as far as education is concerned. We'll have short throw projectors and, and whiteboards and all of that. On my right hand side is, the, is kind of the, the center of the plumbing of the house. And both of these bathrooms, there's a bathroom for the master bedroom and a, a guest bathroom here. Those all come out. All of the plumbing gets moved because when you come into this master bedroom, on the east wall will be two, east wall and part of another bedroom, will be two ADA compliant bathrooms, plus a, a janitor's closet out in front of there. So uh, everything will, will uh, meet code. Uh, the heating system will all be updated. And uh, when we're done, uh, it'll be a, I think it'll be a light, happy place for the kids to come to and enjoy really understanding, not only just understanding the, the characteristics of the Bible, but in, I, can, I think embracing the whole gospel of Jesus Christ. Big, big project, and when we put a budget on it of uh, $300,000, people went, wow, why don't you just build a new one? Check with an, uh, with an, uh, an architect or a lumber yard and you'll find out. Uh, building costs today, remodeling costs for a house is about $100, $100 a square foot. For a commercial building, it's a lot more than that. To rebuild a new house is about $200 a square foot today. So 3,000 square feet, rebuilding this whole thing, 
to meet all ADA uh, compliance and to be commercially acceptable as a classroom would be about maybe $500,000 to $600,000. So we are getting a lot of things donated, a lot of gifts in kind from contractors, from building suppliers, but we still need you to step up. Uh, we need volunteers to do some of this work. We also need people to pray about making a donation to the Sunnydale House Project. We hope you'll pray about it.